So today we'll be exploring the uh, subtropical rainforest of the higher altitude areas of southeast Queensland in Lamington National Park. And uh, we'll be looking at the forest floor of the uh, rainforest down here. So there's a few distinctive plants in the understory and this is probably the most distinctive one or one of the most recognisable ones this one is the uh, walking stick palm now it's not uh, you don't say walking stick palm you say walking stick palm and the reason for that is because it uh, was used as a walking stick by early uh, jungle explorers cut it off and it's a nice uh, convenient size because this is the uh, size that normally grows. In some rainforests around the world, the floor of the, the forest is very quiet. And it's uh, fairly quiet at the moment. But uh, quite often, and this is the subtropical rainforest, you uh, actually hear quite a lot of bird calls, and uh, particularly a lot of bird scrapings. And this bird is a, a type of lyre bird <clears throat> and there's uh, two different species. The famous one of course is the superb lyre bird of Victoria and New South Wales. But this one is the Albert's lyre bird and it's um, restricted pretty much just to southeast Queensland. Now during the winter, they, um, they're very active in making their songs and it gives them the reputation of being uh, the most incredible songbird in the world. Unfortunately at the moment, it's, um, it's spring, so it's not calling. Um, but we can see it feeding. And uh, we can see the the big feet of course scraping through the forest floor but also you can see occasionally bits of that lyre tail that they use for display during the uh, breeding season and this bird also along with the other species had the distinction of being the most uh, the biggest songbirds in the world of course their songs are quite famous and uh, they're known to imitate all sorts of human um, sounds as well. So it's chainsaws and uh, today things like mobile phones. I hear they do a very good impression of Matthew McConaughey. So one of the cutest birds um, and seems fairly common at the moment is um, a little understory bird called the log runner. And uh, you do indeed see them scurry along logs. But at the moment, I'm sort of tracking them as they feed their way through the understory. And uh, it's very cute how they do it. They sort of get in there like a little partridge. And uh, they sort of kick all the leaf litter away with their feet. And the way they do it. It's quite a funny little angle, and they're quite busy little birds. And um, unlike most other birds, they're unusual because the, um, the female is the more colourful one here. But I think what we're mostly looking at here is, um, is males. And here we have the, the biggest uh, and most successful of the, the rainforest floor birds. This is the Australian brush turkey. And, and are successful in the rainforest. And also uh, such a generalist has adapted really well to urban areas all throughout the region. And these uh, belong to a family called the megapodes, which uh, translates as big or large feet. And you can see those large feet uh, now. 
and eventually come the breeding season they'll use those feet to, uh, to build their nest, uh, one of the biggest nests of any bird in the world. And it uses those large feet, of course, to uh, scrape through the forest floor for its food. <laughs>